This is 2020, February 21st. Right now it's around 10.40. That means about 1.40 time in Eastern Time, New York Time. And this is Eric Ho Dong Leung. And thank you for you to uh, look at my YouTube about stock analysis. And let's take a look after stock market today, okay? Dow Jones uh, in front of us right now, okay? And um, Dow Jones is doing some adjustment a little bit. Uh, the reduced by 268 points, not much, okay? Um, <clears throat> well, I'll move my um, picture to the right hand side, okay? And um, you can see that, okay, this is increasing, okay, the Dow Jones. And I expect that Dow will um, <clears throat> come to around, okay, this part. Dow Jones will have a supporting point at 2, 28,500 28, and that will be a supporting points. So if um, there be about 400 points more from, from now and then you should um, stay and at that time we should observe if it's you know going down that we, then, then Dow Jones will have more adjustment. But if uh, you stay at 28,500 points that means that you has higher chance to go up. On the other hand, let's take a look at BlackBerry, BB. BB is a stock, mark, stock that um, uh, we can, you know, worth to take a look because um, BB has some plan with Amazon and um, they plan to do some software that related to auto driving, okay, software. So, but <clears throat> BB is only $6 right now, okay. It's still at a downward trend, okay. So, when will be the best time to buy BB? Okay, it's very simple. Okay, I draw a line, then you can see from here to here. Right. So, um, if BB is higher than seven dollar and twenty cents, then for sure that BB is going up definitely. Okay, but if you uh, want to take risk earlier then if BB is higher than uh, $6.90 you may start to buy a little bit more okay $6.90 and for sure that if it's above this purple line then BB will go up now on the other hand let's take a look of uh, Apple Apple computer you look at here you will see that Apple computer come up to about January okay then it come to a peak temporary and um, <clears throat> well because one of the reason is um, about maybe 20% or less than 20% of the production of Apple iPhone or Apple products uh, are related to China um, they may have related production plant factory in China and that's why you know right now China has a critical problem okay in production and they cannot start their production yet. So I expect that um, Apple computer will come to a peak temporary until until um, the China factories uh, related to Apple resume production again. Otherwise, okay, this is a temporary peak. In the future, I do hope that if Apple computer have an alternative, they move their factory plant productions to another uh, area or in other countries that will give them a stable production in the future maybe 2021 and then Apple computer will still going up you can see that Apple computer is going up quite you know quite good I mean the, the upward, upward thing trend is about 45 degree okay, which is a very good um, increase okay so I was talking about two um, <clears throat> Apple computer BB let's take a look of um, hands on index okay Hansen index is in front of me right right here. Okay. <clears throat> this is Hansen index. Move it to the right. Right. Now this is Hansen index, okay? Um, which is right now in between 29,500 points and then 25,000 points in the middle. Now the peak the upper range is right here right here upper range no range is right here at 25,000 so right now it is in the middle 
um, personal advice from Eric um, this whole year 2020 I don't see any um, good things happen in Hong Kong so far or happen in the Hong Kong economy and especially Hong Kong economy and Chinese economy are closely related to each other and the one country two system um, we call system uh, was basically collapse okay in terms of investors point of view and um, we should only look at Hong Kong as a regular city of China and even worse Hong Kong does not have any um, you know self-control by themselves okay and almost everything 101 percent based on the control by communist China and so that's why people call Hong Kong right now is called communist Hong Kong <laughs> what a pity anyway but in the economy um, the stock market will tell you um, the direction uh, or the result of Hong Kong government and Hong Kong government or you call communist government whatever or communist Hong Kong government uh, I can expect that the Hang Seng Index okay, will not um, has a good result and um, not only for one quarter I expect that Hang Seng Index um, the best scenario is horizontal is the best scenario but most likely you will horizontal and then going down most likely for one quarter two quarter actually up to at least six more months we will see again up to September and uh, if no, in, no improvement in Hong Kong government no policy improvement then Hong Kong economy I mean the, the stock market will go like this horizontal down and then horizontal now it's not going like this no okay Hong Kong is not like this Hong Kong is going horizontal down and horizontal not going up now even you if you invest okay if the stock price is not going up you lost your opportunity cost okay if you invest in somewhere else they will have they will earn more money but not in Hong Kong China well even worse okay China okay so um, <clears throat> let's take a look <clears throat> this is the China index <clears throat> a Shanghai index China stock market is basically controlled by government by money supply so if they see the stock market going down they print more money by printers by the central bank and so basically the index here means nothing this is Eric Liang the China stock market index means nothing to investors basically it means the number of the amount of money supply dumped into the market and <clears throat> and but you can calculate inflation from here um, normally speaking the stock market should drop to around 1500 or 1800 but now it's almost keep to the stable price at 3000 that means um, you can expect that it should fell for another 50 percent but now it raised up by you know 50 percent okay it means that the inflation rate should be around 50 percent you can use that as an estimation um, they try to have a hidden inflation now communist China they can control this a hidden inflation of about 50 percent so that to bump up the stock price to 3000 again so it means nothing so don't use um, if you have saving I strongly recommend that if you have choice you may save in US dollar any currency but not uh, RMB which is uh, <laughs> not worth that amount of money okay looking at the stock price then you will see now um, <clears throat> I try to give um, very um, well uh, I would say third party okay not optimistic uh, but not very bad okay try my best with my experience to share my analysis to you this is um, Eric hold on there on February 21st if you like my analysis okay which which you will see the result in about one or two weeks then you can give me a like and also you can share with uh, your friends thank you for watching